Hey everybody, it's Nick Dolman here. I am a Microsoft MVP from Canada, and today I'm just gonna to talk to you a little bit about what is Microsoft Power Pages. So what is Microsoft Power Pages? Really what it is at the end of the day, it's websites built on the Microsoft Power Platform specifically for external stakeholders. So things like customers, members, partners, volunteers, constituents, anybody that needs to log into a website and have access specifically to Dataverse data. So what are some of the features and capabilities of Microsoft Power Pages? Well, basically it gives you the tools to design your design and build your website. It has a lot of these build tools, including developer tools, built-in security management. Of course, we wanna make sure our data and information is secure and Power Pages does facilitate that. We also have authentication management where we can manage who has access to our site from our external stakeholders. Of course, we can use the various uh, authentication methods that are available out there, including even third-party authentication methods. And what this does, this gives us that direct access to Microsoft Dataverse from an external facing point of view, which is really, really powerful and really one of the key things that makes Microsoft Power Pages incredible. Now, as opposed to just me talking about it, let's dive in and let's actually create a quick site to show you the power of Microsoft Power Pages. All right, so here I'm at the Power Pages homepage, which you can get to by going to make.powerpages.microsoft.com or as a shortcut, go to aka.ms slash mppp for make Power Pages. All right, so we're in this, this uh, homepage here. I don't have any sites yet into my environment. I can start from a template, I can start from a blank, or I could even use Copilot to describe how to build my Power Pages site. Um, and that what we'll do, we'll create the site plus a whole bunch of pages based on my prompting. Um, let's also take a quick look at our templates here. If I take a look at the templates, we have a bunch of design templates with different colors, themes, and layouts that we could use to begin to build our particular site. Or of course, we could start from blank. If you're using Dynamics 365, Dynamics 365 also provides a series of templates that will tie into those first party apps, such as customer self-service will tie into Microsoft Dynamics 365 for customer service, those types of things. Um, definitely worth checking out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to choose something simple like a starter layout number two, for example. I'm gonna choose this template and I'm gonna use that to build my first Power Pages site. I'm gonna give this site a name. Um, it will generate one for me um, as well as a web address. I can give it some other details here. And of course we can change the URL later to our own custom URL, but that's a step a little later on. I'm gonna hit done. And what this is going to now do is going to create the website for me. It's going to create a bunch of records in Dataverse that's going to be about the configuration of my site. It's also going to go up to Azure and create a, what's called a website host there, which is really an Azure web application that will read that information from Dataverse and display it as a website. All right, I'm now in what's called the Power Pages Design Studio. The Design Studio is divided by four different workspaces, the Pages workspace, the Styling workspace, the Data workspace, and the Setup workspace space. In the Pages workspace, of course, this is what you expect from any kind of web design tool. We can begin to uh, go in and create content or modify content for our page, um, you know, whatever we're building our site for. Of course, we have Copilots are also, we could use Copilot to create the site, but we could use Copilots in little various micro parts on our site to maybe create content and work on a few other things. We're gonna take a look at a few other co-pilots as we go through this. Um, we can begin to design, do the different layouts and things like that. Um, look at some of the stock images here. Yeah, let's change this image to something else. I can take a look at the stock images. Um, let's kind of find a, a meeting image that looks a little bit more conducive to what we're talking about. This looks pretty good. Uh, of course, you can upload your own images from your own library of media and things like that. All right, I'm gonna resize this just a little bit, shrink that down a bit. I'm gonna change that. Maybe we'll center this, make that a little bit better. Cool, we got this. And we can begin to be, add other sections and things like this to our website. Um, that is in the, the pages, just, um, pages workspace. We're gonna go back and add a page and a new page in a few minutes. I also wanna kind of point out the styling workspace. And here is where we can choose a bunch of predetermined um, styles and themes for our website. Uh, we can maybe change this to, there's a light blue, maybe something like this. Would that look a little bit better? Oh, it's a little bit different. Again, really de defines on what you wanna do. Again, this is where Copilot can really help you out. Back in my pages workspace, I could ask something like, so here I'm gonna put a prompt, create a theme in the style of the SharePoint uh, Europe.com European and 
Power Platform Conference and actually went out to the website, found these colors and gave these as suggestions. So I can apply the theme to see what it would look like. And we can tell it's begun to apply the theme. So it's not exactly, you still need to go in and make some adjustments and changes, um, but at least the co-pilot can help you kind of move those tedious tasks a little bit a little bit quicker. All right, so we've themed our site. We've, uh, we've changed some of the content here. Where's the true power of Power Pages? Well, that is really the ability to surface Dataverse data. I'm gonna go into the data workspace. And on this particular instance of Dataverse, I've created already some tables and some structures to help with event management. So I wanna take a look at my sessions table. So I'm gonna go look at sessions and see, so these are like my event sessions. And we take a look at that table. We have a whole bunch of sessions here already in the data. We also have a series of views that we can use that come part of a model-driven app or forms that we have here. I have one set up for website session. I can go in here and design those forms using the model-driven app tools. If you're not, you know, caught up on Dataverse or model-driven apps. A lot of great information out there in the community and in Microsoft Docs to get you up to speed. And then using those capabilities, we can reuse those in Power Pages sites. Let's see how. So I'm gonna go back to my pages here and we are going to go in and create a brand new page. And I'm gonna call this session list. Um, I want to add that to the main navigation. That means I want to show up in the menu at the top. I'm going to choose a standard layout. There are other layouts that are available to me. I could create custom layouts as well. That's more of an advanced topic. Let's just choose a blank for now. I'm going to add that. And here, let's just add a title. I'm going to say this is a session list. Again, we see Copilot pop up. We can use that if we want. I'm going to change this stuff from a paragraph to heading two, I think. Give that a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. And then underneath, let's just add a spacer. And let's just go and add, and here we can add data components. I can add forms, multi-step forms, Power BI reports. I'm gonna choose a list because I wanna see a list of those sessions. So let's choose this. Again, it's gonna ask me where that data is. I need to specify my Dataverse table. Of course, we had set that up earlier. Again, we could go in and create a brand new one if we wanted. Even Copilot can assist us in creating a table. Still a little premature at this point, but it is evolving as well. So take a, keep your eye open for that. I'm gonna choose the Dataverse views. I'm gonna choose that website sessions. That's cool. I'm gonna give that a name. I'm just gonna call this uh, the session list. Again, this is just for reference later. And I'm gonna hit done. And what it's going to do, it's going to create that list. It's going to give me um, some sample data in here. It's also going to remind me about permissions. If I just expose Dataverse data on the website, it's not gonna let me do that. I'm gonna to need to specify who's allowed to see that data. That's a great step because we really wanna make sure that our data is secure. I'm gonna choose new permission and that's gonna open a side panel here. It's gonna fill in that name for me. Of course, I can access this from the setup workspace a little bit later. For now, I'm gonna choose the read permission and then I wanna add the roles, meaning the authenticated users and the anonymous users, basically folks that are logging in or just visiting the website should be able to see this information. I'm gonna hit save. Again, gonna give me a warning about the data. And now we have this here. Let's take a look to see what this looks like on our website. So. I've now navigated to my website. It's given me the session list in a nice little format. Again, if we go back to the homepage, remember we made a few modifications here as well. Welcome to the Power Platform user group. Again, we can go back to that session list. So again, in a very short amount of time, I was able to create a website. I was able to create some basic styling using that website. I was able to take one of my existing Dataverse tables with data and expose that to the site as well as set up security, probably all within 10, 15 minutes, which is pretty amazing if you consider that you would need to actually go through a lot of development loops in order to build something similar from ground up. So this is the power of Power Pages. I've just scratched the surface. Check out other content in the community on Microsoft Learn, on my YouTube channel, of course, um, visiting the um, your European Power Platform SharePoint Conference. I have a session there with my podcast partner, Lika Akerbeck. We're going to talk about the top 10 tips for using Power Pages. So I hope you learned a lot about Power, a little bit about Power Pages today. I hope you're excited to give this a shot. You can spin up a developer environment and you can spin up a couple of Power Pages sites to try it out for yourself. I'm really curious to know what you're going to build using Microsoft Power Pages.